no longer a distant threat, but a reality today. Climate change is turning glaciers into lakes, posing a flood risk for millions of people. While technological fixes can help, they can't put an end to the melting ice. The warming of the climate has clearly led to a melting of glaciers in the Alps. And what they leave behind is essentially water and in many cases lakes such as the ones here. We started by creating an inventory of lakes that formed in the Swiss Alps uh, due to glacier retreat and climate change since the Little Ice Age in 1850. Uh, since then, we identified almost 1,200 lakes that formed. These lakes are evidence of the changing climate. Today, we are here to collect ground measurements, for example, of the color of the reflection of this lake. We also have uh, temperature sensors in the center of the lake, which we use to observe how the vertical differences in temperatures develop over the year. Our idea is to map this globally with satellite imagery, also to investigate how the lakes evolve. For lakes that uh, form in, in previously glaciated areas, there's also sometimes a certain hazard potential. They can cause floodings. Lakes can be dammed either by rocks or by ice, where, where ice is the least stable because it can melt and disappear and in this way lead to a, a lake outburst. In 2018, there was a huge amount of water that caused des inundations in the part of the village. Everything happened very fast. We had to evacuate the people. If we don't have the glacier of the plain mort in the Alpes, we have the lake that is filled and reconstituted avec la fonte neige, et puis euh, tu es à un certain niveau, à partir euh, d'un niveau de, de plus de 1 million litres cubiques d'eau, ça pousse, ça pousse. Le lac peut se vider. Après 2018, euh, on a construit un canal de détente et l'eau peut sortir euh, plutôt à, à un certain niveau critique pour euh, éviter que tout l'eau se vide dans un seul coup. On est dans une bonne situation pour répondre aux futurs défis du glacier. On essaye de canaliser ça un peu, mais la nature reste changeable et on ne peut pas tout contrôler. Mais on veille à toujours euh, garder la sécurité pour les gens dans le village. The village of Lenkim Zimental is just one of many at risk of a glacial lake outburst. It's a bleak record, but 2020 was the warmest year ever recorded here in the Swiss Alps. In an optimistic scenario, scientists predict that the Alps will lose around two-thirds of their ice volume by the end of the century. In the worst case of strong warming, the glaciers will be mostly ice-free, meaning there's no chance these glaciers can survive in their current state, although ice melt can be slowed, at least temporarily. When I was here starting to work in 2007, the lake didn't exist. Each year it's uh, becoming bigger. As the ice is uh, retreating, if we lose six meters to eight meters every year. Uh, this means that it, this place where we are now, uh, we're going to sit in the lake within um, five to 10 years. Today we came to Rhone Glacier for installing some stations that are uh, doing real-time monitoring of the ice melt. Behind us, we see these uh, white blankets that are put on the ice by the people that operate this artificial ice cave to maintain this tourist attraction. It's a synthetic material. The color is white and therefore a lot of the, the sunlight is reflected back into the atmosphere. 
there's the cold ice and on top there's the warm air. So it's just insulating um, the glacier from the warm air. This is actually very efficient. Beneath these blankets we have something like um, 50 to 60 percent less melting. It's a lot of effort and it's also a lot of costs. We also did a study trying to upscale this to all glaciers in Switzerland. If it would be 1 billion euros per year, every single year, and if investing the same sum of money into reducing CO2 emissions, we could mitigate the whole uh, emissions of Switzerland of one year. So these measures are really locally efficient, but they're not made and they've never meant to save the glaciers as a whole. With that, we cannot battle against climate change. To battle against climate change and all the effects, there's just one way. We just need to reduce CO2 emissions and therefore protect climate.